So I just want to explain a few things since I explained them really bad in the video and I needed to like voice over for this part. One, I downloaded three mods that are really going to help us in this series. One of them being the boss health bar mod, which is pretty self-explanatory. Second one being the boss checklist, which is also kind of self-explanatory. It basically tells me what boss I needed to uh, kill next. And last but not least, the recipe browser allows me to actually go and check recipes for items that I want. And that's just really going to help us during the series. So without further ado, let's get this episode on the roll. Now, there's something special I've been working on. It has been meticulous, tedious, everything, bro. It has been hard trabaja. It is a new house. And no, this is not it. I assure you this is not it. This would be a bland house. I have been working day and night. This was like a two-day project. Figuring out how to actually build something, dude. I didn't appreciate Terraria builds until like after today. Uh, you see, we have the nice uh, bookcase. You know, we kind of got everything here. We have a couple chests hidden. We have a whole chest room, which we haven't actually organized anything into yet. And we've got an a lot of money. And I do want to spend that money on some stuff today i'm actually pretty excited about that um also i fought off a goblin invasion which actually gave us this new npc uh mobart that's not always going to be his name if he dies by the way and we get this cool thing from him but um that's pretty much all that happened so uh welcome back to terraria so the thing i just pointed to uh before i just um, I want to go in this guy's shop. I want to get two things. I want to get these rocket boots and the Tinker's Workshop. And you guys are like, well, why do we need these two things? And more importantly, um, how do you get all the money? Dude, I was grinding day and night. Like I said, I was working long and hard. You guys probably didn't even notice that we have 400 health now. Yeah, I was in the cave looking for all the stone to build these houses, man. So anyway, we got rocket boots. So now we won't be able to just run fast, right? We'd be able to fly crazy right no but that's that's just it doesn't end there if we place the tinkers workshop up in this building right here right you'll see we can make something pretty freaking cool bro go all the way down we can make something called specter boots which is basically a combination of the two very useful my friend we can also run a little faster i think but if we look at the res recipe browser bro it does not end there you can make lightning boots but for that we need an anklet of the wind and we need an aglet both of which you can't craft, which is a problem, right? I know where to get these things. Uh, they're underground, so we're going to be exploring the underground ugh, the underground jungle today, which is, uh, just, oh, it's it's messy over there, dude. Also, I do want to buy, so there's just a lot of things that are going on. I do want to buy uh, one thing from this guy, De DeAndre. Sorry, dude. Uh, I want to buy a mini shark, dude. This thing is really good. It's like right next to the uh, space gun. So we now just got like 1,800 bullets. And this thing's pretty... Uh, I'm just going to fire it for you. It's going to be pretty uh, good against some upcoming bosses. So I'm just going to put the money back and uh, empty our inventory so we can go explore the underground jungle. Friends, we have found an underground tree, and I know it is hard to see right now, but you'll be able to make it out in a second. And at the bottom, there's a chest, and that chest will have the anklet of the wind. First try. That's actually really amazing. All right, so we found the anklet, uh, and then apart from that, no, not much, but there's one thing I did forget to do when I started recording. All right, there it is. Now, if I, I can use that amethyst to make an amethyst hook. I'll tell you why this is actually really cool. Now, hold on. You have a grappling hook. It's very cool, you know, in a way I feel like Spider-Man. Hey, yes, I'm back. I'm, I'm voicing over again because I don't know how to talk when I'm recording. So the second part that we need for the lightning boots actually isn't in our world. I checked the whole world for them. The part that we need spawns in surface chests, and I checked all the surface chests. So what you can actually do in this game is you can actually have a player go uh, like hop onto different worlds. So that's what we're going to do to check for this aglet right now. Oh, yes, finally. All right, so we got the aglet. Thankfully, we didn't have to go searching too far to find it. But I'm going to have to travel farther to find some closure. All right, we need to grab this thing. And we need to take this thing out of our accessory slot. And then we need to make, boom, lightning boots. Don't worry, it keeps on going. 
frost spark boots. We need to find ice skates. All right. Um, I just like got burnt out for a second, so I took like a three-hour break. Anyway, like really enjoyed it. But I need to explain to you something that's about to happen. You guys are like, hey, Taco, why do you have this huge platform right here? And why is it so long? Well, my friend, we're gonna be fighting a boss. Yes, it's another boss, and I, he's, I prepared for this one. All these fireplaces boost our regeneration rate and all these heart lanterns also boost our regeneration rate and this platform allows us to go over and under oh my god did you mm. <sighs> did you did you just did, did hold on hold on did you just say over when you went under? You notice we also have another arena over here. Why do you have two arenas, Taco? Uh, well, you see, we're gonna be fighting two bosses, actually. Uh, both named after, like, a guy named Cthulhu. It's kind of crazy. As you can see in the list, we have to go to Eye of Cthulhu next. And then we have to tackle the brand of Cthulhu right after that, and then the old mark. I, I don't even know what these guys are. Uh, but, you know, you get the gist of it. Uh, we gotta kill two guys. It's gonna be really cool, and it's gonna be really epic. So, yeah. Alright, it's nighttime, and without any further don't know what i was gonna say let's summon the eye of cthulhu as you can see we got the health bar going down at the bottom and this shouldn't be that hard of a boss fight our mini shark's already going to work this guy probably does not stand a chance against us all right now all right now we're talking now we're talking overall pretty easy boss fight until he does this this makes it really difficult Directions here, but... Ooh, kinda went crazy at the end, but we defeated him with ease and we got his treasure back. Uh without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. And we got um only a few things. We got the Shield of Cthulhu, which oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this thing for so long. We have a big old shield on the front of us, but watch this. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. You can dash, pretty much. And if you run into an enemy, it hurts them. It's pretty cool. But since I'm feeling a little confident, uh, I think we can do two. You know, I almost feel sorry for the dude. You know, I don't even think I'm afraid of Brain of Cthulhu anymore. I think I'll be able to take him on. We are getting quite a lot of gold from this, which is why I'm going to spawn him in a third time. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just on a roll today. What can I say? Nice over and we got him for a third time, dude. I'm telling you. Now, if we go back home, we got Crimtain Ore and a lot of it from this guy. We also got a lot of money, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my piggy pig. And then I'm going to go over to the furnace, you know, cook up a little something. You know, make some Crimtain bars, you feel me? Then after that, we're going to go back up to the anvil. It's kind of annoying how they're uh, kind of separate. Oops, I should probably put them together. But we can make this axe, which is going to be considerably faster than uh, the Meteor Ham Axe. For now, that's all we can do with our crimtain bars but wait a minute we still have to kill the brain of cthulhu and that has a major component on what we can do with these bars here we go into the belly of the beast all right all we have to do to summon this guy is um find one of these hearts and give him a big old swing you know all right here we go this guy's a little tough i have to admit i think we'll get through it but we're almost done with him and that's the last brain cell. I think that's what that is. Oh, whoops. Oh, all right. See, we have to make sure we don't die here because this is the very last part of the fight. But our mi mini shark is making quick work of him. Oh, my gosh. Stupid spiders, man. Nah, I'm not dying. I'm not dying now. Whew. Whew. All right, all right. We can, we can do this, guys. We can do this. Another close call, but I've been in these before. All right. As long as no minion jacks me up, we should be fine. And we're almost done. Almost. One more. One more. And we've done it. Whew. Oh, man. That was uh, that was stressful. Oh, my gosh. If we look at our boss log, look. We got two bosses that we just killed. Let's open the treasure bag and precise brain and confusion. Okay. What it does is confuses uh, nearby enemies after being struck, but there's only a small chance of it. You know, I feel like we were overdue for a new set of armor, but we can only make this by getting the tissue samples, which we got from the Blade of Cthulhu. So this is the crimson set that we have on right now. It has greatly increased the life regen. You can see we already look a little snazzy right now. You feel me? We already got... I why is her name Isis? That's surprising, I guess. 
So we got a new NPC, you know, she's the god of, uh, I guess life. So some pretty cool stuff. We started with our meteorite armor, and now we're in our crimson armor, which, oh my gosh, she just look awesome, bro. Make the space between these guys wider so you can actually see. All right, and I think that is a well enough place to leave off the episode. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy, you know, I'll just let the intro play for itself. You guys have a great day.